This is my favorite celebrity lecturer. Today, what we will talk about today now, hexos monophosphate chunks, otherwise known as the pentose phosphate pathway. Now, this pathway, how it happen? We say once you don't consume food, usually you don't take your uh, maybe you wake up in the morning, eat your rice or you drink your tea with your bread and the rest. So, what did that thing go do? We say once you don't eat your bread now, you don't eat your rice, you don't eat your yam. Or anything will contain carbohydrates, your body will break and down to glucose. So this glucose where you get now, the glucose will come enter inside the cell. This cell now what they look here now. This thing now, let's book we assume say a uh, cell with this. So and this is the liver, now the liver cell with this. So you get this transporter where they ready for liver cell, they record that transporter glut too, which is glucose transporter too so this transporter now they carry glucose enter the cell so if you look here now the glucose don't enter the cell this is the liver cell otherwise what do they call hepatocytes so once the glucose don't enter the glucose will continue uh, to give us energy the work of the glucose now to make sure say we get energy we will use the do other things now the glucose now remember say you get one of my videos where i teach glycolysis the video, the glucose, go, they will convert into glucose phosphate. They will convert into fructose phosphate. They will still convert into fructose one six base phosphate. This is a reaction where they happen for glycolysis. They will go, 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 they will give us pyruvate. But the essence of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, reaction, where they call glycolysis, now to produce ATP. ATP from A. D P. This uh, there's another step there required to give us ATP. This step here, you will convert this step now will convert ADP to ATP. So at the end of the day, now what will they get with this, this ATP? Now why this glycolysis is important? Because we will use this ATP for for one run, for one do any other activity we want to do. Now this ATP we need to carry out those activity. Now, but this pentose phosphate pathway, now pathway where they produce NADPH for where the body they use produce other things where the body need. Example, where the body they use this NADPH for cholesterol. Body they use to produce cholesterol. The body they also use this NADPH for as a as a reducing agent. I'm going to explain what we reduce the agents later. But this is for reduce agent. The body also uses NADPH to synthesize fatty acid, where the body will need for that things too. So now this uh, NADPH, the body also uses them. Um, uh, so many things that the body does, and for even for the body also is and produce uh, nucleic acid. The body is and they produce nucleic acid. So you see why the dogs say this pathway they very important. Imagine, imagine say the body is and for all these things. Even your your steroid hormone, others they are testosterone where they be, where they use as a man, the estrogen or the estradiol where women they where they make women be women. The body they need this NADPH to produce them. So now I'm going to tell you say this NADPH is very 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 important. So what we can do now is okay. How the body did they produce this NADPH? Now the body go once your body don't take in glucose, convert that to glucose six phosphate. You get the enzyme with the what they call for the liver. They they call that enzyme glucokinase. Glucokinase. The enzyme, the work of the enzyme are to produce glucose six phosphate. But this glucose six phosphate they produce here now get different parts away if you go. They call them fates. Of glucose phosphate. This glucose phosphate can be used to produce glycogen where the body will come store in case if you need uh, energy later. This glucose phosphate can also, the body CFC convert this glucose phosphate to cis phosphate gluconolactone. So the enzyme where they do that one now, this enzyme glucose phosphate dehydrogenase, this enzyme they very, very, very important. If individual, you get any people who say if they lack this enzyme, they go get what they record, they go suffer for what they call hemolytic 
anemia or the formation of hen's body. So now, if you now get this enzyme present in your own body, this enzyme will convert this glucose 6-phosphate to 6 phosphate gluconolactone. The lactone way they talk, I've got of this uh, ketone group right there here. I made a column gluconolactone. So once your body don't produce them, your body go use NADP plus to produce NADPH. This NADPH is now nine. Remember nine. The body they use produce all these things. So the next step they get now, where the body go can use this enzyme called lactonase. This enzyme not be the lactase enzyme with the zero with the year four they see for other textbook. This one a lactonase. It they convert this cis phosphate gluconolactone using water to produce cis phosphate gluconate. The cis phosphate gluconate here where they see the eight now because of this carboxylic group where they don't form for here. So it becomes six phosphate because the phosphate group for the cyst carbon. So six phosphate gluconate. The next enzyme, remember this is this is step one. This is step one. So from step one, this is uh, usually this can be step two. This is step uh, three. But before when we this could they tell us say no matter based on the availability of uh, knowledge we did that time. They say these two process, this lactonase and the next enzyme, then they together. So once this one work, it will give you the directly to the next uh, product. But now we don't find that say there is another, you get another enzyme with it they call lactonase. That enzyme they convert cis phosphogluconolactone to cis phosphogluconate. So this phosphogluconate will be reacted again by this enzyme called cis phosphogluconate dehydrogenase. The enzyme will also use this NAD plus to produce NADH. So you might so you now know that these are the two places in this pathway. Uh, now the two places for this pathway where the body they produce NADPH, where the body they use do all these other things. So they use the produce other things. Right? Yeah, book will also remember say this NADPH, the body they also use and fight against infection. So if you get infection everywhere, the body uses the NADP to fight infection. So we can say the body uses uh, this the body they use the NADP to fight uh, disease, infectious disease. So now this NADP you don't get here. This uh, enzyme don't convert this cis gluconate to ribulose five phosphate. Now if you remember how many carbon they here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbon. How many day? One, two, three, four, five. So one of the carbon don't come out. So we make that one five. So that is why you will see something like this going out in the form of uh, your consider in the form of uh, CO2. And the CO2 is the way they see for here. And I don't come out. So to give us uh, to give us thing, this five carbon, five carbon sugar. Then they call ribulose five phosphate. The reason why they call it ribulus, if you see the ulus, they go to the they call ulus. When we when they teach us uh, chemistry of carbohydrates, how they really name the monosaccharide. They say when it they present, uh, you see when it will present like ulus here, yeah, ul. That tells you that uh, the concept say this one a uh, ketone. So whenever uh, whenever you see when you see this ulus, you know that you know saying a ketone sugar that they talk about. So this ribulose uh, five phosphate they produce, the body will come use other enzyme. Example is epimerase, isomerase. This one also really in a epimerase. Epimerase. So remember. Say epimerase now enzyme if we if we want to teach us organic chemistry, they tell us say epimers now two molecules or uh, where they different from only one particular carbon atom. So where did they differentiate these two molecules now just one carbon atom? We will say na epimerase na epimer. So isomerase now would they convert the structural formula from one formula to another formula, but they will still get the same molecular formula for example we know say glucose na c6 h12 o6 fructose na c6 h12 o6 uh, mannose na still c6 h12 
O6. So if you see now glucose, fructose, mannose, now isomers, then B. But now glucose and mannose, now epimers. So because the, the difference between the two of them are only at one particular carbon. Now let's look we'll see ribulose and uh, ribulose and xylulose. You can see say now only at uh, this is let's say this is a uh, carbon one, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four, five. So you can see say the only difference between the two they, they differ now at only this third carbon. So that is the only way that they did different. So because of the they different from that only that particular spot, we will call an epimers. So any enzyme we will go feel convert this one to this one, they will call an epimeres. So the conversion of uh, uh, ribulose five phosphate to xylulose five phosphate, the enzyme where they do that one are epimeres because what the enzyme they do now from one epima to another epima. Another one again what they see an isomeres. Ribulose 5 phosphate, they will call isomerizer to ribose 5 phosphate. If you remember, this ribose 5 phosphate, now within DNA, RNA, ATP, uh, GTP, uh, CTP, ATP is adenosine triphosphate, uh, GTP is guanosine triphosphate. So now within those uh, nucleotides, they use, they, they synthesize those nucleotides. So now we see the record that ribose 5 phosphate. So normally the tell say there are two basic importance of uh the there are two basic importance of uh, the pentose phosphate pathway. One na production of NADPH for reductive biosynthesis, two na production of ribose sugar for this the ribose sugar for DNA and nucleic acid biosynthesis. I will tell you tell you with that. So what we know say the pentose phosphate pathway, they also produce uh, this NADPH, where they also use the fight against uh, disease. So the second phase of pentose phosphate pathway, now they call the non-oxidative phase. So the two phases here now, oxidative phase, where this NADPH and this NADPH are produced to, to get to this ribose. 5 phosphate. Apart from that, every other thing they see for this pentose phosphate pathway, now non oxidative uh, phase that they call it. So, this part, this particular step now, this non oxidative step now, the way they call it, and those rearrangements, rearrangement of different uh, to produce different carbon atoms. So, if we, uh, or different molecules, if we combine these 5 carbon xylulose. And five carbon ribose together using this enzyme transketolase. The transketolase they only remove two carbon atom. If they come out two carbon atom, add that to the next one. So you can see that this is five carbon. This is five carbon. So total of the two five carbon will give us ten carbon. But if we can't use this enzyme transketolase because of saying that two carbon, if they remove, they add to the other one. You will remove two carbon from xylulose. Add up to this five carbon. This five carbon become seven carbon, which is pseudo heptulose seven phosphate, giving us another one, which is glycerhydride three phosphate. Now you remember the glycerhydride, there are three phosphate that is produced here now. But if you use them now, carry them go glycolysis. You can see where you, you, you will see them now say the body don't go use them for this uh, second phase of glycolysis to produce ATP. So the pseudo have to lose that seven phosphate that the body don't produce here. Go first still react with uh, the glycerol three phosphate using this enzyme that they call transadolase. Transadolase they only remove three carbon, a three carbon. But now this one a three carbon. We know if you remove three carbon already, but this one a seven. If you remove three from from seven, if we remove three from seven, add on to this one will be three. It will be, give us a uh, fructose. Six phosphate. Also, we remember say fructose is in a six carbon. So we don't come out three here, add them to three here. What do we get now? Six. Now, this one way we don't come out three from go remain four. Now, I will get erythrose four phosphate. So, erythrose four phosphate is also uh, very important in, in producing some of the amino acids that are in families of uh, amino acids that are produced from. Uh, erythrose for phosphate. So you can see that this arrangement with the having for here, this rearrangement with the having for here, the body will use and produce anything where you want. 
this uh, erythrose 4 phosphate fisty react with uh, xanthylose 5 phosphate using the transcatalase. So, that, mind you, this is 5 carbon, this is 4 carbon, total of what? 9 carbon. So, because of that, this transcatalase 2 will be removed from here, added to. Uh, Two will be removed from added to erythrose phosphate to form uh what is the color photosis uh, phosphate how many remain here three remain here so that three now will come give us a uh, glycerate three phosphate so the glycerate three phosphate can still go back to glycolysis while the fructosis phosphate should still go back to glycolysis so if the body don't use some of the glucose we don't enter the cell to produce any dph and this ribose 5 phosphate. So the remaining body will say, okay, we can still convert some of the remaining we don't form from here. Use them, they give back to glycolysis so that energy will continue, will continue to get energy. So that is the importance of this uh, pathway. Now, this uh, reducing agent will get here. Remember, they say if there is lack, if the body lack this enzyme, this product, this NADP is going to produce. And this NADP is going to be here now. The body they use them, they maintain the red blood cell membrane so that because if the red blood cell membrane is not properly maintained, you go bust, you go lead the way to what they call uh, hemolytic anemia. So, most, the important enzyme with the body they do, they do that in a glutathione reductase. That glutathione reductase need this uh, NADPH for its activity. So, if the glutathione is not reduced, it's not in the reduced form, and what it will make are they reduced from now? This uh, presence of this NAD pH. This NAD pH now will convert, will make a glutathione reductase to produce glutathione that is used the way the body they use to maintain the integrity of the red blood cell membrane or cell membrane. Now this NAD pH also is used by NAD pH oxidase. This enzyme, now the body they use to produce some of the free radicals. We call it all those peroxide anion, uh, hydrogen peroxide, and all those things. So the body will use that enzyme to produce all those free radicals. Those free radicals, if they are present with any microorganism, they will attack the microorganism and they will not spoil the membrane of those microorganisms. So with that, you will say the body don't use and fight microorganisms or the body don't use and fight disease. So let's book with us, book with recap the whole thing we don't do for you. Now, see, remember, say the glucose phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, they convert glucose phosphate to cis phosphate gluconolactone. The lactone days will convert the, the cis phosphate gluconolactone to cis phosphate gluconate. The second oxidative uh, step of this uh, pentose phosphate pathway. Now, how the body will convert the cis phosphate gluconate to ribulose 5 phosphate. Which is catalyzed by cis phosphogluconate uh, dehydrogenase, giving off uh, CO2. So, to give us uh, this 5 carbon ribulose 5 phosphate. So, when I do, like I said, any, uh, I can talk about earlier, so any, uh, any molecule will get ulos, we will not say that ketose sugar. But the ones we don't get ulos, like the ribose, we will not say that those sugar, aldos because of the aldehyde functional group so this is now pentose phosphate pathway make you not forget say you are supposed like this video make you not comment share and click on the make you not subscribe to the video also click that notification bell so anytime i post video like this now go see and watch them.